And so I think there will be people that will be sad and wondering, well, why did we close? What are we doing now? And where are we going? Lubbock ISD announcing the closure of one of the district's oldest schools. Good evening and thanks so much for choosing KLBK News. I'm Terry Furman. And I'm Matt Still. Tonight we've learned that Lubbock ISD is planning to close Dupree Elementary at the end of this school year. Dupree parents were notified of the closing at a very special meeting this evening. Yeah, KLBK's Grace Moore spoke to the superintendent of LISD. Grace, were they able to say why the school will be closing? Terry and Matt, Superintendent Dr. Kathy Rolla told me that it's really an economic issue and that the cost to keep the school open that had such little enrollment was hurting students' education. I will never forget Dupree because it has changed a lot of lives. Lubbock ISD announcing to Dupree parents tonight that the school will be closing at the end of the school year. We have seen the numbers decline each and every year until this year we're actually less than 200 students. Superintendent of Lubbock ISD Dr. Kathy Rollo saying because of this decline the closure became a matter of economics and the cost per student. This is something that over time the district has been working toward to try to be able to number one be efficient. Students at Dupree will now be given the choice to go to either Carmona Harrison or Brown Elementary School. LISD believing that these larger schools will provide better resources to Dupree students. We know it means a lot to this neighborhood but we also know that we owe the staff and the kids from this neighborhood the best education possible. As for the staff, no teachers will lose their jobs. Many of these staff will actually go to Brown um, or Carmona Harrison, but no one will lose their job. There is a place there's a place for everyone in Lubbock ISD. According to the school's Facebook page, Dupree Elementary is the oldest school building in Lubbock, having been constructed in 1927. And community members say they're upset to hear that it's closing. I'm sad because there's a lot of nostalgia. There's a lot of things that the school's been here a long time. And also, for what I know, it means for these kids. But LISD believing that this is what's best for their students. I also know um, the value of what this will do for students. And I, I believe as a district, this is a good decision to move us forward. Now, while LISD did inform parents of the school closure tonight, the plan still has to be voted on by the LISD Board of Trustees, and approval for that plan could come in November.